hello guys welcome back to our channel while a lot of us are still hoping and praying that nigeria will bounce back and become the giant of africa again when and how it will happen honestly we have no idea we're just hoping and praying but others are already facing the harsh reality of life and are calling a spade a spade calling it the way it is and they're already beginning to speak for their people and say look nigeria is already down and out but this is what we need to do to save our people a uh, lot of them are speaking afeni Ferre, and your Briggs is talking for ninja delta you drop people namde kano everybody is speaking at the same time i would like to give you the breakdown of how they have decided to do the needful over the matter that is actually pending right now but before we go into the newspaper to find out what it is that all these groups are saying including angel Briggs, i would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube well the right activist and one of the prominent voices in ninja delta angio Briggs, has said that south south region is currently in a survival mode as agitations and ethnic tensions continue to tear the country apart Briggs made this known during a zoom conference meeting organized by a media group moderated by a ceo where the topic was tackled killer husband invention of southern nigeria and the middle belt region causes some solution she said nigeria is already dead because it has failed to work for all as can be seen in the frequent clashes between ethnic groups and agitations for self-determination my aim is survival of my own ego my own job people because nigeria is dead already it's it's our own individual 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 ethnic group that is alive she said in her own contribution nigeria is failed already and i don't want my people to fail with nigeria i want my people to survive she added briggs humorously noted that god did not make nigeria Lugard did. she made this assertion persuading the listening audience to believe that the ravaging ravaging headsman attack is slavery in nature and appears to be a vicious battle for hegemony she strictly warned that our independence is paramount and therefore should not be sabotaged by any group our participants included of course afeni ferry and sokakbo also made their contribution speaking during the conference the so spokesperson of afeni ferry that's yinka odumake noted that the southern region of the country can't continue to live together with northern nigeria with the 1999 constitution demanding for a new constitution with an option to opt out if you are tired according to him we cannot live together with this constitution let us write a new constitution with an option to opt out if you are tired what we have in nigeria is a clash of civilization therefore the federal spokesman accused president muhammad buhari of of executing the agenda of Fulani people in nigeria also in his presentation during the conference the president of sokapo jonathan asaki said the way out of the insecurity in the country is scrapping of the 1999 constitution and making provision for the new constitution he said there is ongoing agenda of Fulani to suppress every other region to their dictate, which they have been able to achieve to some extent in the southern Kaduna. Adding that Buhari's regime is taking cover under the 1999 constitution to continue to allow Fulani to invade communities across the country. According to him, it is an agenda that predates Buhari's government regime taking over under 1999 constitution to allow Fulani to invade communities, protecting invaders. If you make an attempt to protect yourself, you'll be detained. There is a deliberate plan to supplant and change demography of southern part of the country and middle belt. The 1999 constitution should be brought down to tackle problem facing the country. Whoa! I this is getting really interesting. Uh, just some some hours ago, uh, the governor of um, Edo State had actually said, looking at the issue of insecurity and farmer headers clash, and then uh, I I think to see it in a different dimension as well, in the sense that um, with now the the northern governors all singing the same song that of course everybody now knows that um open grazing is old fashioned, it's archaic, it's outdated, it shouldn't be encouraged, or that uh, very correct everybody seems to be on the same page and the question is if it's a cake and it's outdated it, it shouldn't be allowed what is the next plan of action now people are talking more rick and the rest are insisting that the government should give the flanny money 
all right give them palliative to build ranches the question is where are you building the ranch the land not the richest for Sauto. where do you want to build the, the the land because even the land if we need them to farm so just like i will always say we always encourage nigerians in nigeria that let's promise practice what we call economies of scale what we have advantage over all right if you you believe that in the, uh, the Fulanis have comparative advantage over rearing of cattle and the rest, open a ranch in the north. Okay, let the southerners who also believe in other things like in South South, especially in uh, Niger Delta, particularly in rivers. Okay, rivers, bias. Uh, predominantly, we have oil, right? So let's you know leverage on our oil. Okay, forget about ranch. Don't bring your ranch in close to that place. Let's continue with the oil. Then in Lagos, which is the capital city, okay, which is you know have head head, head of parastatus there. We can commission. We can continue with the commercial and leverage. Forget about ranching there. You can go to the north. You have large expanse of land. Why are you going to other people's people states? Go stay in the north. Uh, there's plenty of land. Just let's tackle issue of insecurity there. So that large expanse of land, we can use it for ranching. So if you want cattle, bring it down. Okay, you can just order for a shed. Amici is not doing train. Good, that's good news. We can now pay for the money for the train, for the uh, cow. You can ship it down to, to the other southern part of Nigeria. Because right now, as it is, Nigerians generally do not seem to trust any, any because there have been so many, okay, they say, okay, Roga, they say, we don't want Roga, and now uh, national lifestyle, we don't want national lifestyle. No, no, that's by default now. Nigerians are gradually going to, I could still remember Femi Addition is saying these words, said that Nigerians are better, Southerners are better release their land if they don't want to lose their life. And I asked the question, is it by force or is it by choice? You understand? So if the people are not comfortable, why not? Don't forget now, she's now saying, can imagine what um, the human rights activist, the woman, woman rights activist is saying. Say, look, I'm, I'm interested in my own people, my own tribe. Everybody's shouting the same thing. So are you bending the hand that we should all have? A... Let's follow the story, the, the, the uh, headings of um, Governor Ganduji. Let's build the ranches in the north. Okay, ranches in the north. By the time we need cows to bring them to the south, it's a win-win. Have you ever had uh, farmers having issues or clashes uh, because you have no? They mind their farm. Every land is important to the people in, in that community. If today you give them the land, what is the probability that in the next 50 years, they will not change the history and say, this our ancestors, source, our ancestors source of, of, of 19 Kredim, or 1945 actually lived in that place let's get real here okay if your people over the years have learned not to trust it trust is the but the key cardinal rule here is trust nigerians have lost trust over some certain tribes and for us to be able to live in harmony trust must be rebuilt and on on you know equity and justice until that we're actually making value well, actually we're not solving the issue we're only you know playing around rubbing Greece on the issue. We're not actually solving it properly, but that's what we'll wrap it up. Let's put in our comment section what's your take on what a Fenifere and the breaks that uh, breaks the same.